Local organization that has given away more than a million dollars worth of school supplies to thousands of students is opening once again. The pencil box was forced to shut down earlier this year and find a new location. Two Works View's Ashley Wheeler gives us a look inside their new building and why teachers say the organization gives them. Ashley. Corey and Travis, the pencil box had to close its doors when they were told they had to find a new building. And after a little bit of scrambling, they're finally able to open today to continue the mission of serving Tulsa County students and teachers. Pencils, scissors and notebooks, a dream for teachers like Shaniqua Ray, preventing them from having to dig into their own pocketbook. There's been plenty of times where I wanted to do a project in the classroom, um, didn't have the money from the school to be able to buy those supplies. And so to Walmart, Target, I go with my own money just to make sure that I could do what I needed to do in the classroom. Identifying the schools in Tulsa County where most of the students are at or below the federal poverty level. The pencil box currently serves 47 schools, allowing teachers to shop for supplies specific to their students. When you hear about teachers trading a shoe for a pencil, we just say give the kid a pencil. Executive Director and Founder Nancy Belsley says many students struggle enough with outside obstacles. So many of us can't comprehend the stories that many of these children are living with. Um, not knowing where they're going to sleep tonight, couch surfing. If a parent has to choose between pencil and paper or making sure that my child is fed, my child has the clothes that they need, then it's like it falls back on the school and the teachers to be able to supply those basic needs. And now that the pencil box is reopening, thousands of students can now focus on what's really important, their future.